Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back. I'm Melanie Kate Love, the self-love makeover artist, and I am ridiculously passionate about helping beautiful, soulful women just like you learn how to love yourself, trust your intuition, and manifest your heart's true desires. Now today I have a general reading to help you out with the energies associated with the full moon that is occurring in Aries on October 5th or 6th, depending on where you are in the world. Now, before I get on to the reading, I have an announcement to make. <sighs> for all those beautiful people that are on my wait list for a private spiritual reading, I have good news for you because you are going to be able to have access to the pre-sale which is occurring on the 29th of September, which is this Friday. And I'm going to be opening up the pre-sale at 1.11 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time, which works out perfect for everyone that is not in the Southern Hemisphere. Um, so I am so excited. It's like, ah, oh, I've been having dance parties for like the last 24 hours. I'm like, oh my God, I'm done. My website is done. I like literally finished writing the terms and conditions yesterday or the boring legal stuff, which is a requirement. And um, I was like, oh my God. I did that one, I was like, holy heck, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. Oh my God, this has been such a long wait, but divine timing says that this is the perfect time. And for everyone else that is not on my wait list, by the way, you can still join the wait list. Um, I'm gonna be opening up to the rest of my beautiful MK Love fam on Sunday. So you guys literally have 48 hours for the pre-sale. Now, I highly recommend that you jump on that pre-sale, number one. There is a limited amount of spots. I'm gonna be um, going all the way up, I think until the 17th of December, I have those area, um, those dates available. Um, and I have more people on the wait list than I have positions available. So get in quick with the pre-sale and for the first five people, <laughs> um, you're gonna be getting a special discount code for 50% off because if you're the first five people, I just want to say thank you so much. Obviously, thank you so much to every single one of you that has been so patient with me, has joined the waitlist and have replied back to different emails that I have sent to you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my gosh, you are literally making my dreams come true. Um, oh, I just heard that song from Disney. Dreams really do come true. I totally sang that off key. But um, as you can see, I'm so excited and I'm in a completely different location today. Um, if you watch next Wednesday's video at 6 a.m., um, you will be able to find out, so I'll just give you a little behind the scenes, I'm moving. Um, I'm not telling you where, I'll save it all for that video, but we're in the process of moving. So this is our bedroom, which I've now turned into um, a recording studio. <laughs> Um, until we move into the new house. So we literally have our bed in the living room. <laughs> but yeah, ah, there's so many beautiful things happening. All right, let's get on to today's general reading. Right, let's start with the angel oracle from Doreen Virtue. Angels, can we have some clarity for the full moon that is occurring in Aries on October, what was the date? I wrote it down here, fifth or sixth, depending on where my beautiful MK Love fam are in the world. Just one card, please. Okay, that one. Whew. Time to go! Yay! Yay, yeah, yay, yeah, yay, yeah, yay, yeah. yay! Okay, so it says, the sun sets and rises each day, and it's the same with the avenues in your life. See the beauty within each sunset in your life, and know that the sun will rise again tomorrow. Oh, I just heard that song. The sun will come out tomorrow. Oh shit, I haven't like warmed up before I started singing today. Okay, um, endings are merely the start of a new beginning and we are with you through each phase and cycle. That's good. That is real good job. Okay, let's get another card. Angels, clarity, I'm time to go for my beautiful MK Love fan. This is probably the most excited I've been for a reading in a flippin' long time. Okay, just one. Oh, I don't know which one it was then. Just one card, please. Okay, thank you. Ooh, the relationships card. I love this one. This could mean so many things. 
It could literally be the relationship that you have with yourself and others. It's like you're leading the way. Like, look at you on this beautiful horse. It's like, this is the way to go. And the horse is like, oh, do, 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 do. And you're heading to, oh, yes. Yes. Okay, it says, your primary relationship is with yourself and God, the universe, whatever you want to call it. And every other relationship follows from there. To attract, heal, or balance a relationship, then snuggle more closely with your loving creator. That's kind of nice. As you feel safe and loved within, so shall your other relationships bloom and prosper. That is doing your self-love practices, my love. That is what I harp on to you every single new moon or full moon, so like every fortnight. That's so beautiful. To attract, heal, or balance a relationship, you need to look within. You could also go and do your, um, have a look at my chakra playlist, my guided meditations. That could be another one to help you out. Your primary relationship with yourself. I feel like so many people like neglect that. And I have neglected that lately. Hence, well, yeah, I have. Actually, I have because I didn't have videos last week because I was out of alignment. Um, even though I had videos pre-filmed, I just didn't even have the energy to edit them. Like, what the heck? So your primary relationship is with yourself and God. Okay, let's move on, okay? Let's go on to the Archangel Raphael healing deck from Doreen Virtue. Angels, can we have clarity for my beautiful love, beautiful MK love fam, for time to go and relationships to help them deal with the energies associated with full moon in Aries. About divine timing. Ask your body for a message. I've never pulled this one before. It's like you're asking for help. Dear body, please help me hear your messages. Archangel Raphael, please. Guide me in honoring and respect in respecting my body's needs. So this probably fits in with your relationship with yourself. It's like you have been going like 50 miles an hour and you haven't like settled down to have time for yourself. Ask your body for a message. Not like that could be like an emotion, like you could literally feel something in your body. Make sure that you are eating high vibrational foods because I feel like for me, on my self-love journey, food was the first form of healing. And when I eliminated animal products from my diet, I was being, I was then able to hear the messages of my body instead of like um, feeling super tired and having a coffee. Not that I was really ever those type of people. Um, I was able to hear the messages clearer. Let's get some more clarity on that one. Let me read what it says in the book. Ask. Okay. Okay. It says your body or the body of the person that you are inquiring about is having a health issue. Ooh. Is having a health issue because it's trying to convey a message. Your body is speaking and wants to be heard. You drew this card as a reminder to ask the body part you drew this card as a reminder to ask the body part in question, what do you want me to know? Ask yourself this question. Listen to the thoughts, feelings, and visions that occur. Every body part has a voice. And if you listen it follow, and follow its guidance, health will be restored. But if you disregard the body's message, it will speak increasingly louder in the form of pain, similar to a child having a tantrum to get attention. Ooh, you won't, don't want to go down that road. Okay, possible meanings. It says, say I love you to your body daily. What I do is I literally stand in front of the mirror, like naked after I have a shower, and be like, I love you, I love you, I love you. You are beautiful, you are perfect, you are wonderful, and nobody has a body like me. I love that I can walk. I love that I can run. I love that I can lift things. I love that I can take myself on magical adventures by using my body to get there. Stats spending more time loving you. Um, be willing to forgive your body. 
mm, if that brought up anything for anyone that has put on weight or who has lost weight or you're not feeling happy where you are, you have to literally feel gratitude for exactly where you are. And if you're not, then you're not going to get what you're trying to manifest. Okay, talk honestly with your body about your fears, your desires, and your feeling. Honor your body by treating and feeding it with reverence, aka high vibrational foods. Speak about your body in health in positive, optimistic terms. That's interesting because yesterday I actually heard one of my friends, um, she had some negative self-talk in regards to her body and I was like, oh no, if you're doing that, if, if that's what you're saying out loud to me, imagine what you're saying in your head. So it's like we need to just, I feel like mirror work works wonders with that. Let's get another, yeah, let's get another one of that one. Okay, angels, can we have clarity on time to go, relationship, and ask your body for a message from my beautiful MK love fam. Is there any other blockages? A good night's sleep. You guys have been working too much. How cute is this card? I love it. Okay, D Archangel Raphael, thank you for helping me relax and sleep dearly. For I know that you are guiding, healing, and protecting me while I rest. Okay. So you need to rest in order to listen to the messages because whatever the heck you've been doing to yourself, you're running yourself into the ground. And I know that last new moon, we got the card um, Queen of Fire, and it's like you're, we've got this new rush and surge of energy that's going through you, and you just are so excited about it. But you have to do your self-love practices, aka the relationship with yourself, the most important one. So you can listen to the messages. And a way to listen to the messages, sleep is a self-love practice. Go to bed. If you are someone that stays up super late, one of the things that I do to help prepare myself for sleep is Peter and I don't have, we don't have like main lights on um, in the evenings. We either have my salt lamp on, which is actually right beside me now, um, or we have fairy lights and we actually have a solar torch because it's, it's just a nice ambience. So you need to literally train your body to have like a sleep time routine. So however that looks like for you, start training your body so you get to have a good night's sleep. And I've been guilty of this. <laughs> This message totally applies to me too because I remember last night I was like, ah, oh, there's so much to do and I'm like typing, typing, typing and Peter's like, come to me. I was like, ah, I'm on a roll. But sometimes it's like, no, it can wait to the morning and you know, without sleep, you just don't cope. I remember when I used to work for Disney on their cruise ship, um, my average sleep pattern was four hours a night. I had a sleep app, so I have screenshots of it. Um, yeah, four hours a night for like five or six months I was on that ship. Four hours a night. So, and I remember actually, this is what happened to me earlier in the week. I remember waking up after I didn't have a good night's sleep and literally couldn't see properly. And I said to Peter, oh my God, I have Disney eyes. He's like, what? Disney eyes meaning you're so sleep deprived, you're awake, but your eyes aren't actually focusing on, you know, really anything. Like I couldn't even focus on this or it's just crazy. Get some sleep, my love, so you can hear the messages that your angels are trying to tell you because it seems like, yeah, send your body some love, okay? All right, let's go into the next deck, the numerology deck, um, the guidance cards from Michelle Buchanan. So, angels, clarity from a beautiful love, beautiful, I can't even speak today, beautiful MK love fan for time to go, relationship, ask your body for a message and a good night's sleep. Like literally fell out and then there was another card that was quite prominent too. Ooh, leadership. So you're not being, <laughs> I just, um, do you know that movie, The Holiday, um, with Cameron Diaz and Kate Winslet? And Kate Winslet is literally sitting down to dinner with the old dude and he's like, you need to be the leading lady of your own life. This could be you making yourself a priority. 
um, being your own leader. It could literally be you are fulfilling a leadership role and hence the reason why you are feeling overwhelmed with all this stuff that's going on. Hence the reason you're not spending enough time doing your self-love practices. You're not getting enough sleep and you're not being able to hear what your intuition is trying to tell you. That is beautiful. Let's see what else it says for leadership. The intuition one is easy, but what is 81? Nine, completion. Why do I hear that song again by Nelly Furtado? I'm like a bird, I want to fly away. I don't know where my soul is. I don't know where my home is, because I have made all my self love practices. But I'm like a bird. Okay. It's hot in Australia. It's not even summer yet. Oh my gosh. I know everyone that's in like the Northern Hemisphere, you're like literally in aut aut autumnal season and everyone on YouTube are like having all these cute like new clothes and makeup trends and sitting on hot chocolate and I'm like sweating my butt off here. Okay, <laughs> let's go back to the card, shall we? 81. This card indicates a time to lovingly lead and guide others who are less capable than you are. This may apply to your workplace, community, friends, or family. By drawing this kind, you're being encouraged to have confidence in the ability to motivate and inspire those who occupy you on your path. This card also indicates a role as a leader in your field. You may choose to rise to the top of your game with your unique talents or to lovingly lead others in a new and improved way of life. Either way, it's time to step up to the plate, adopt a position of authority, for you have a natural ability to lead. What? In order to improve your current situation, blah, 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 blah. Remember, a successful leader leads alongside rather from above. Others graciously follow you when you have their best interests at heart. So know that you are safe for you to see. So know that it is safe for you to lead the way. Affirmation. I lead others and in turn, I serve my higher purpose. That's beautiful. This is not the reading I was expecting. Not that I really know what comes up, but like, it's, it's so interesting that like each fortnight, the reading is completely different. It's like, it takes a little bit of what's happened the, the previous fortnight, it adds on it and it's like, okay, this is the blockages. Get some sleep, do your self love practice. Your intuition is trying to talk to you. It's like these two. They basically mean the same thing. That's why I love when these cards like trump each other. Intuition, you've got a message. Your intuition can't come through because of the relationship with yourself, meaning you need to have some self-love time, get a good night's sleep. Yeah, and this card, time to go, it's like, get on to it because your, your angels are like, dude, I am waiting. I just said that song. Waiting on the world to change. Who's that, Pete Murray? No, John Mayer. Waiting on the world to change. I don't know the rest of it, but that's right. I haven't warmed up my vocals today, loves. Right, let's go on to the last deck, the Angel Oracle, no, Angel Tarot from Dorian Virtue. The biggest deck there ever was. Okay. Pardon. I just need to drink some water. So I like a pen earlier. Okay, angels, clarity, please. Oh, time to go. Relationship. Ask your body for a message. Good night, sleep, intuition, and leadership from my beautiful MK Love fam. I love these cards. This one normally seals the deal. That one, that was quick. home life, a successful completion of a project, yo, oh, 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 yes, 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 oh, look, see, there's like a dragon inside that's like in its, stepping in its power, and like, look at all the, like, how do I explain this, ah, all these thoughts running through my head, can you see all these little vines down here, it's like these ones are, are starting to sprout, there's more coming through, there's so much goodness coming through, and it's like, boom, boom, Oh, you got four beautiful. Oh, 
how, what would you call them? Like four things are in bloom, like in flourish. Four, what does that four symbolize to you? <sighs> yes, yes, yes. Abundance, a happy home life, a successful completion of a project. What are you guys working on? Is this the project could be literally like your own project, your own self worth, self love. You've been working on yourself. Something is happening. I have goosebumps through my whole body now. So, uh, yes. I feel good. Da -na 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 -na. I know that I would now. And you want another fire card, which is perfect for the Aries energy being a fire sign, the born leader. Ah. I don't have any words. And I'm a very good talker. And I, I don't have any words. Okay, four of fire. You've worked hard and now rewarded with contentment, peace, and abundance, or as I like to call it, avalanches of abundance. The freedom your success has have, has afforded you provides deep fulfilling feelings of I can't talk today. You've worked out hard and are now rewarded with contentment, peace, and abundance. The freedom your success has afforded you provides you feelings of satisfaction. I feel a lot of you getting emotional now because it's like, oh, yes, Mel, I've been working so hard and now it's going to be, like, acknowledged. You've safely navigated your way through the obstacles to a place you can feel proud of. Oh, yes. Now I feel really emotional for you. Like my cheeks feel like I'm gonna cry, but why am I crying? Matters of home are rewarding. Someone may get married or planning to move in with a partner. Ooh. Peace and harmony have been established and now you seek, seek stability and commitment. I can't remember who it is, but one of you beautiful MK Love fam, Running on Spoons, I think your name is. I may have gotten this wrong, but you've been giving me updates in every single description of all my spiritual readings and you've been telling me little updates about your partner that you have manifested and you talk about your first date. I feel like this means something significant for you. I can't even remember your name though, I'm so sorry. Additional meanings, a milestone event in your career a successfully completed project, counting your blessings, feeling oh, excitement, marriage, or even a honeymoon. Holy flip. <laughs> what? My goodness, my beautiful MK Love fan. Oh, now I've messed up the whole thing. What was the first card? That one. Yes, yes. Okay, let's recap. Okay, you ready? Okay, so this is good. So it's like, there's a couple of little things, a couple of little blockages that you need to tweak in order to get back into vibration alignment so that you are vibrating on the frequency of love, the most beautiful place to be. And when you get there, you've got, uh, oh, oh, I just heard a song. And I don't know what that was. Anyways, so get yourself sleeping again, do your self love practices. Um, work on that relationship with yourself so you can listen to your intuition and you're completing a project. You're, all, you're literally stepping into this new power of leadership, whatever that looks like for you. Oh, this is good. Okay. So the first card is time to go. Work on the relationship with yourself, which is the most important one. If you don't work on the relationship with yourself, everything else is literally going to fall by the wayside. You there is nobody in the world that can look after you as what is the word like no one's gonna have your back like you have your back you know everyone else is 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 literally looking after themselves yes some people can help you out yeah but they're not gonna like help you get out of bed in the morning you know you have to literally put your feet on the floor when you wake up strut to the bathroom naked in front of the mirror and be like, I love myself, I love myself, I love myself. I am beautiful, I am perfect, exactly how I am. I love my body, my body loves me. I love my body, my body loves me. Say it, ready? I love my body, my body loves me. Okay, let's go. I love my body, my body loves me. Yes, yes. Okay, okay, 
speaking of body, so you, you need to tap into your intuition, which is one of these ones over here, to find out what are these messages that are being, like, you're not listening to your body because there's blockages. The way you can fix that is with a good night's sleep. And yeah, the self-love practice is basically just it's the same thing about that. The leadership, this could be a leading, you could be a leading your own project. This could be you taking yourself, making yourself a priority. However that looks like for you, that could be taken so many ways. And there is contentment, peace and abundance all waiting for you on the other side. Yes, my loves, yeah! Exciting times ahead. I feel like we need to have like a dance party go, everybody dance now. Boom, 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 boom. My beautiful MK, MK. <laughs> oh my God, I can't even talk today. Yes, I just want to tell you before you go that I am so proud of you for working on yourself. This is a tiny little blockage. Get to bed. It's not like a massive blockage that you have, um, you know, I feel like you've worked on your massive blockage and you've made peace with it and you're now at a, at a stage where you are literally like just doing the self-love practices again and getting a good night's sleep. It's all you need to do to stay in vibrational alignment so you can listen to the messages that are coming through your body. Because something's trying to come through but you're like not even, you're not even on the right frequency to hear it. It's like you need to be up here and you're down here. So have a good night's sleep. Go to bed early, turn your lights up early to train your mind, wake up, have a dance party. Oh, you know what can help you? Oh my gosh. When you um, log into the pre-sale, you are actually gonna have full access to my whole website. So on Friday, if you're on the waitlist, or if you're not, just click the link in my description and join the waitlist ASAP because I've actually created for you a self-love starter kit. It's literally three strategies that I'm literally teaching you. I said literally twice like because I'm so excited. Three strategies that I'm gonna teach you to help raise your vibration today. One of them is a morning mindset um, audio that I have created for you. It's literally like 18 minutes of me going, I think you're amazing, blah, 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 blah. Like everything to like, Brighten your day. So that could be one of your self-love practices. The other thing I've created is a five minutes to bliss guided meditation. So literally lay down on the ground, surrender yourself to the universe and be like, okay, help me. It's literally five minutes because sometimes that's all we have. And the other one, <laughs> oh my gosh. The other one is, you know that video I made called um, how to love yourself, my self-love practices. The thumbnail um, says self-love starts here. Well, I've actually created a workbook that goes with that one so you can start literally nutting out your self-love practices and how that looks for you and then I ask you some pretty um, deep questions in the second part of it. So yeah, my self-love starter kit is totally going to help you out. So join the wait list so you can get access to have your own private spiritual reading so I can find out how you guys are going because I feel like this is great. I feel like this is so great. Like, it's as simple as going to bed. Like, come on, you guys are doing so, so well. So whatever is going on for you, just focus on what you are doing now and what you have already achieved instead of getting fixated on like the destination. It's like, I've got to do this and got to do that. It's like, no, enjoy the moment now because you, my love, are like so far ahead of the person that you were a year from now, a year ago. Think about the person you were a year ago. You are not as high vibrational as you are today because you are making yourself an effort. You're making yourself an effort. How exciting is that? So beautiful things in store for you with the Aries full moon. And yeah, two things for you to do. Comment below, let me know what has come up for you because I would love that. Give this video a thumbs up because it totally helps me rank higher on YouTube so I can get more high vibrational souls watching these readings and our beautiful MK Love Fam can just grow and grow and grow and grow and grow. So if you're on that wait list, I'll see you on Friday. What? Oh my God, I cannot wait for you guys to download my self-love starter kit. This is something I've been working on for a while. It's all free, by the way. The self-love starter kit is literally free. So if you want a guided meditation, if you want your own morning mindset audio and you want a workbook to help you nut out your self-love practices, I've got you covered. <sighs> okay, that's it. 
Have an amazing day wherever you are in the world of beautiful MK Love Fam. And remember, continue to vibrate in the frequency of love, the most powerful and most beautiful place to be. Anyway, I'll see you soon. I'll see you most of you on Friday for the pre-sale. And I'll see you, yeah, see you then.